Okay, in this video we're going to find the particular solution of this first order differential equation. So notice here the word particular. So far we've just found general solutions um, where it's y and it's um, a function of x um, but we've got a constant of integration. All we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get it to y equals and then we're going to substitute in our initial conditions to find out what that constant of integration is based on these values here, similar to what you would do in higher. Okay, so we're just going to proceed as normal, as if nothing has changed, we'll find our general solution first. Okay, so is it dy by dx? Yes, so we need to identify what is p of x and what is q of x. So p of x is the thing that multiplies the y, so here p of x is minus cos x. And the q of x is 2xe to the sine x. Okay, next stage is we find our integrating factor. Which is mu of x. And we find that is the exponential function raised to the power of p to the x. The integral of p to the x. So we are going to integrate minus cos of x with respect to x. Okay, so cos would integrate to sine, so minus cos would integrate to minus sine of x. Okay, so my integrating factor is e to the minus sine x. Next stage is we multiply throughout. By our integrating factor, Remember, it always becomes the integrating factor times y is equal to the integral of the integrating factor times q of x. q of x we've got awkward here, so it's 2x e to the sine x. 2x e to the sine x. Okay, so let's see if we can do any simplification firstly. Um, Okay, I don't really like this with a negative power, so I'm just going to take that expression to the denominator. So that's going to give me y over e to the sine x is equal to, and let's see if we can simplify anything here. So I've got all these terms multiplying, but notice here I've got this multiplied by this. Okay, so I could add those powers here. Actually, I'll do this to the side. Okay, so I would add those powers, so that would become e to the minus sine x plus x, which is e to the power of 0, which is 1. Okay, so this is just going to become the integral of 2x with respect to x, and that's dx. Okay, so we could take that to outside of our integral if we wanted to, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to integrate 2x squared, so that's going to become 2x squared over 2, which is just going to become x squared plus c. We want to make y the subject of the formula. Okay, so y is equal to e to the sine x, x squared plus c. You can write it in many different ways. You could have written e to the sine x, x squared plus e to the sine x times c. Okay, so this is our general solution. We now want to substitute in our initial conditions to find out what this specific value is. So we were told that y equals 0 when x was equal to pi. So we're going to substitute this in. So 0 is equal to e to the power sine of pi. And that's going to become pi squared plus c. Okay, so sine of pi, let's just do a wee recap here. Okay, so the period of um, sine is, the period of sine is 2 pi, so sine of pi is 0. Okay, so this is going to be 0 equals e to the power 0 pi squared plus c. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. 
So 0 is going to be equal to pi squared plus c. And if I want to find c, well, c is going to be negative pi squared. So therefore, my particular solution is y equals, and what do we have up here? It was e to the sine x. e to the sine x, and then it's bracket x squared, and it's plus c, so it's going to become x squared minus pi squared.